Hey folks, thanks for joining me. This is going to be my first YouTube video. I've uh, been doing woodworking for a couple years now and it was about time to add some new tools to the shop, um, doing some more fine woodworking and needed a jointer. During uh, my research, while I was looking for something, because I, I specifically needed an 8 inch jointer, uh, and noticed that there were no reviews on the G0857. Um, they were all for like the 0490s and the 650s. So I wanted to go ahead and do a video for you, show you some unboxing and then maybe some setup. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so as you can see, I've already got the top off. Uh, just doing some quick visuals around the box. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot of damage. And uh, the reason I'm showing you this is because, you know, whenever you get a new piece of equipment, the last thing you want to do is get it in your garage, uh, unbox it, and then find out, oh, well, something's damaged. It's uh, pretty difficult to get it back in the box and then send it back to the manufacturer. So I didn't really see anything except for this over here, where it looks like maybe rubbed up against something and smashed the box. But overall, I think it looks fine. Uh, one thing I noticed about this unit is when I was researching the other models, like the 0490s, they send those jointers in two separate boxes and you have to assemble two different pieces and lift this, you know, heavy cast iron wing on top of, two, on top of a uh, sheet metal box. So this is pretty nice. I don't have to lift anything heavy. Basically all I have to do is take this thing out of the box set it up and it should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Cool push sticks, and it looks like some tools. Well, kids, that was short lived. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but when I was unboxing this thing and taking the plastic off, a uh, piece of the table mount fell out right into my hand. I don't know if you can see it from here. But that mount is completely cracked off and broken. There you go. So, there's the rest of it. So, that table is done. Hey folks, quick update. It's been about three days now since I originally took this thing out of the box and uh, it's still broke, but after going back and forth with Grizzly's uh, customer service, they're gonna send out some replacement parts. So 
I guess the first thing that I need to do is go ahead and dig into this thing a little bit further and make sure that nothing else is broke because that would suck to get replacement parts, start going to fix things and find out that something else is broken. All right guys, I just wanted to give you a quick little tutorial to kind of show you what I'm looking at. Now that I've got all the covers off this thing, we can get a better idea of what we're looking at. And just to show you, these plates sit on here just like this. There's uh, two Allen key bolts that go through these two holes and connect in here. Get those out of the way. And then you can take your fence and guide off. And uh, here's what threw me for a loop for a second because all the videos I've seen of other uh, Grizzly and even some Powermatic fences is that they basically just slide right off and they're mounted on a rack and pinion type system. And uh, right here you'll see, if we can get a good shot of that or not, but this bolt right here has a three quarter inch uh, kind of like a castle, castle nut on it and that bolt rides in here the nut and the washer goes on the other side of that under here and basically holds it on there now just to show you the significant amount of damage that was done during shipping I haven't messed with this this is exactly how it sits after I took the fence off you should not be able to do this. That's the mounting bracket that was holding it on. Busted clean off. There's the rest of it. And you can see where that had hit some of these concentric bushings. Um, so now that I'm looking at this, I'm thinking Placement parts may not be good enough. I'm concerned that this thing will never uh, work quite right, even if I replace the parts. So I'm gonna keep digging and uh, see what I find. So what originally I had set out to make a uh, you know an unboxing and a setup video is now quickly turning into a how to fix your broken machine video. So if you find yourself in the same boat that I am. Congratulations, I'm, we're gonna work through it together. Um, if not, let this serve as a lesson as to why you need to thoroughly inspect any piece of equipment that you get brand new out of the box from the manufacturer. Um, even if it's a little scuff on the box, mark it on the receipt, uh, make note of it, don't brush it off, uh, and call the manufacturer as fast as you can. So, this will be part one of a video series of putting this thing together. So hopefully you found this informative. If you did, stay tuned. Part two is gonna pick up basically where I left off, uh, getting this thing put back together and setting it up for final use. So check back in a couple weeks, we'll see what we got.